Welcome back to yet another one and the last one of the series where I show you how to set up my workspace to give you some inspiration and motivation to try out new things for your own workflow. This one is all about how to calibrate your monitor if it's an ISO screen or another. I just want to walk you through the settings that I use because I heard from so many people that they are confused of what to use and what kind of color gamma and whatever settings are the correct ones and to reveal the secret up front there is no correct setting it's just that you need the setting that matches uh, the the color and the luminosity of the prints that you compare it to and we can uh, then uh, navigate through that and i can show you some some settings that you can use to get started and from where you can uh, take it if you want to precise uh, um, adjust that a little further uh, and I will show you exactly how I set up mine and that works just perfectly for all the commercial productions that I do in my everyday. All right, let's uh, switch to Photoshop and then open up the ISO uh, menu, uh, the Color Navigator 7. I uh, just installed the latest software and uh, it will load up. It will show uh, the settings in a second and while we wait, I can... Oh, no, there it is already. Um, so you can see um, that you have the option to adjust the brightness, the black level, the contrast ratio, the white point, gamma, the priority, uh, the gamut, and uh, a lot of things that are kind of cryptic. So I want to, you know, take out uh, the hustle and uh, let you know what is essential if you want to set it up in a way that you have great commercial quality uh, on your desktop. All right, uh, it depends, the brightness completely depends on the room that you're working in. So if you're working in a rather dark room, um, you can set the brightness possibly to 80 candela per square meter. And um, if you're working in a room uh, that is uh, in a, a, let's say in a brighter, uh, situation uh, with daylight and um, of course not directly into your screen um, you can set the brightness to 100 candela or above depending on the uh, amount of light in your room um, I personally like uh, to have the brightness set to 100 candela but that is just me and what works good for me so anything between 80 and let's say 130 should be great for you, depending on the light in your room. Uh, the black level I always set to minimum. The contrast ratio will be uh, applied automatically. And uh, the white point is essentially the warmth uh, in Kelvin, and 5500 is considered to be daylight. And that is what I want to match, because uh, if you look at, to, at a proof print, uh, you will look at it either in daylight outside possibly to have a good color reference or you uh, check it uh, under a daylight lamp that is installed in a proof room or uh, in uh, advertising agencies or in uh, printing houses or maybe in your studio. Um, the gamma will be uh, L star uh, in my case. Uh, you can of course also go for 2.2 uh, which is the standard, but L star is a bit uh, bit higher advanced uh, uh, setting that comes with uh, the quality of your monitor. In this case, I'm working with a ISO Color Edge CG279, and it offers the L star, so I prefer that one. Um, the priority is gray balance, and the gamut is native because it then works with the gamut of your monitor. Um, if you would start calibrating, um, it shows you this window. And here you can check uh, which measurement device you use. If you, like in my case, have an ISO screen that has a built-in sensor, you can use that. Or you can use other tools like uh, calibration devices from uh, other companies uh, that you can check in the internet. Okay. I only have this one, so I would, of course, use that one. And the next step, what it would do is it says uh, 
that you need to have the light situation as you usually work. So if you have got, like me for right now, with using the lamps to illuminate the scene here a little better, uh, this is not how I usually work, so I wouldn't calibrate it right now. But um, it says basically that you have to uh, adjust the room according to the situation where you usually work in. And if you proceed then, it would start the calibration. And I'm just cancelling this right now because I don't want to do it right now. So that's that. And uh, you can then save that target uh, for yourself. And for example, you can also create more than one profile if you are taking your monitor with you, if you have changing daylight situations, and then you can switch to uh, the profile that you want during the day and adjust accordingly. All right, that's that. That's the whole secret. That's how I do it. And I told you it's, uh, it's not rocket science. It's uh, basic settings. So it's, you have to make sure that the candela brightness uh, is set according to your room. You have to make sure that the white point is set to 5,500 Kelvin. And you can set the gamma to 2.2 or to L star. And that's basically it. Um, I'm really curious to hear uh, if that is valuable to you, um, if you have similar settings, what kind of settings do you use? You can put it in the comments, let us all know and let's have a discussion about that. Uh, I'm happy to help you uh, to find out um, by having others to compare where your settings can be advanced or optimized. Um, so please uh, just use the comments to um, interact with uh, the community and let us know. That being said, if you found value, that would be a great moment to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. Also hit the bell uh, to be notified when new videos are uploaded. And uh, for now, I wish you nothing but the best. And please check out the other videos that I created in the series where I show you how I set up my workspace for Photoshop, for Capture One, for uh, Wacom tablets, and now with this one for the ISO monitor. Wishing you nothing but the best, and I see you in the next one. Bye.